Right, hello, welcome to the 100,000 subscriber special. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Nobody asked for it, but um, here it is. And just to clarify, um, there is going to be nothing special about this video. If anything, it's going to be very below par. But then again, this is my channel, so what exactly are you expecting from me? But in my last video, I said, what do you want me to do for 100,000 subscribers? And I got a lot of comments. Um, three, I'm kidding. But um, one stuck out to me. And this one comes from Samantha, and it says, Roasting 100 YouTubers. And I thought, you know what, I'm a dickhead, let's do that. And there's a very, very high chance this video's going to get demonetized. So if you could, pl if you could please drop a like, subscribe, that, that'd be appreciated. Because somebody has to, let's be honest. Also, just for a quick disclaimer, this is going to get very, very dark very quickly. And I don't mean that in a, ooh, I'm edgy type of way. I just mean there's a very, very high chance I'm going to insult your favourite YouTuber. So please... Don't get offended, please, I'm begging. That's nothing too offensive, I'm just saying don't get offended. The whole point of this video is to literally make fun of people. It's a one-off, I don't do this every day. I mean, kinda, I kinda do. So I said this on Twitter. Hello, for my next video, respond with a YouTuber's name and a picture of them. I didn't say what it was for, but th this, this is what it was for. So I am roasting the people that that, that you sent in to me. So uh, why not, let, let, let's get started and hopefully, it's not a huge disappointment. Mini Mintar. My favourite YouTuber is actually Mini Mintar. <laughs> Said nobody fucking ever. I've seen more charisma from a motivational speaker that didn't have a voice box. It looks like a bloody praying mantis that went on Geordie's show and came back with nothing but a stupid quiff. Jack, mate. I've seen that Jack has actually been working out lately. I mean, he's not mentioned it. But I mean, Jack, if you're watching, fair play. You're, you're looking great, mate. But shame he can't lose that bloody monstrosity on his chest. What on earth does that say? Who done the tattoo? Stevie Wonder trying hieroglyphics for the first time. Jesus Christ. KSI. The KSI versus Logan Paul fight is happening next week, I think. Two multi-millionaires fighting for their pride and for their egos. He also said to Logan that he's going to feel the power with his punches. Logan's the first person to hear. That's in JJ's mum last Christmas. Bazinga. I mean, he goes to the gym a lot. Once again, not that he's mentioned it. But judging by his weight loss and his friendship group, I wouldn't be surprised if Jim is the name of his dealer. Will and he. I seen Will done this video called Swapping Lice with a Billionaire. Mate, you live in a bloody gorgeous London apartment. You're in bloody Hawaii right now. What's next? Harvey Weinstein swapping lice with Jeffrey Epstein. Jesus Christ. True Geordie. Honestly, I'd love to sit here and roast Brian. But over the past couple months, I think everyone has made a joke about him. And quite frankly, I really don't want to get myself into any shit. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, Brian. This side man. Seven boys, mounds of money between them. Jesus, that sounds like a shit movie trailer. Seven boys, mounds of money between them. But look at them. It's like a walking advertisement that money can't buy happiness. I've not seen seven people so lifeless since the last school shooting. Tob jizzle. Did I, did, I, did I say that right? Over the last five years or so, I've never had a good birthday. And that was ever since I discovered that me and Toby share the same birthday. Oh god, imagine sharing the same birthday with somebody that lost to Jake Paul in a race. The last time I seen an American embarrass a British person that bad was in the bloody world war. Connor Maynard. Connor Maynard has spent so many years covering hundreds of songs. Every possible song under the sun, he's covered it. I'm surprised he's not tried to cover his own bloody hairline. New Hope Club. I remember seeing him at Summer in the City 2018 and at a panel somebody asked why they love making YouTube videos and they said something along the lines of that they just love being creative. They've done over a hundred cover songs. How is that creative? Where's the creativity in that? I've seen more creativity from a blind basketball player. I'm Alex. Alex has recently started a podcast <laughs> by himself and I bet everyone was wondering why because he's that annoying that nobody wants to spend an hour with him other than himself. I mean literally his own clothing brand has lasted longer than any of his friendships. Memeulous. People constantly ask George where's the face review what do you look like and the honest answer is if you see what you look like without the mask You'd wish he kept it back on. I'm kidding, George, sorry. James Marriott. James, he makes the same videos as me, but he's actually funny. But he does love making videos about kids. Daniel Cohn, Jojo Sewa, th this, this boy, I don't know who he is. I haven't seen so many videos with minors in them since Peter Scully was arrested. Vicstar123. Vicstar123. I mean, his name's Vic, and he is an online star, I guess, but... Where does the one, two, three come from? Is it how many seconds I can watch of his video before I want to jump off a bridge? Trisha Paytas. I mean, her and herself is just a roast, isn't it? She's just like a massive roaster. I mean, I don't even need to think of a roast for her. It's just, 
she she is the roast. Phil Lester, I mean, I have not really a clue who he is. I mean, I know who he is, obviously, but I've, I've never watched one of his videos. Jesus, he looks like Chris Ingham's lost long brother. Cody Co. Old. Alfie Days. Number one rule for any brands watching. Don't give me a green room right next to Alfie Days. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, now that I think of it. Because he doesn't answer the door to poor people. <clears throat> it's a bit ironic that his name's Days, because I couldn't think of anything worse than spending my day watching his video. I mean, 33 minutes of learning about Zalfi's favourite card game. Jesus. I'd rather die. Zoella. I mean, Zoe has had one or two controversies in the past. The calendar and... I, I don't know what else, to be honest. But look at this neon light she's selling. 400 quid for that. Wouldn't it be nice? Yes, it would be bloody nice to be able to afford that year raging Tory. Bambino Becky. She actually dressed up as a pint for Halloween. And her last video was this. Drinking at every London Weatherspoons. Oh, lads, lads, do you think she drinks? Oh, lads, lads, lads. Noelle Miller. I mean, today I've seen him crying at TikTok. But I'd also be miserable if I was known as Cody Co's best mate. JMX. I've noticed that Joel has took up. I step back from YouTube to focus on his gym stuff and his fighting career. And I mean, fair play. Anything's better than drugging your girlfriend for fuse. Callum Markey. I noticed he tweeted the other day that he's not enjoying making videos anymore. And I don't blame him. So would I if my rent was dependent on what gender Trisha Paytas was going to identify as today. Eleanor Neal. I like her videos. There's not really much to say about her, to be honest. Apart from sometimes she wears these black eye contacts. Just say that you worship the devil and go. The Happy Hour Podcast. Happy Hour podcast. <laughs> Happy hour. But all you need to do is click on one of the videos. Look how bloody miserable it is. It's about as dark as Jeffrey Epstein's internet history. I mean, he's dead now. Randolph. I mean, I've only seen a couple of his videos. And all I can say is, thank God he does music because my God is he fucking boring. I surprised my wife with her dream holiday. She cried. And that's probably the only time she's going to have tears in her eyes. <laughs> My god, I hope somebody gets that. What's good podcast with Randolph and Mini Minter? And do you want to know what's good? Not the bloody podcast. My god, I've seen more livelihood from a bloody slaughterhouse. Cam Kirkham. Cam's a good lad, he's pretty funny. <laughs> if you're deaf. And he's a good role model too. A lot of people look up to him. The blind. The blind look up to him. He's the only person that I've seen wear a suit in more videos than he's actually wore it in job interviews. Ali A. <laughs> James Charles. I mean, after he got cancelled, there's been like a million things you could say about him. Like, I'd love to say something that's bold, funny, you know, straight to the point. But now that I think of it, he'd probably actually enjoy something that's straight. I nabber. That's not even a roast. He copied my dog and I'm, I'm, I'm livid. He got the same dog as me and uh, I would get him, but he's sleeping right now. But this is my dog. I demand Cody versus Kenji on the next boxing undercard. Calix. I seen that he recently got dumped by his girlfriend, Sarah Close. Yeah, that's really all I've got, to be fair. Save myself there, to be fair. I guess you could say that was a close call. <laughs> <coughs> Cal Freezy. I've heard and I've actually asked him in person. He actually is from about 30 minutes away from me. Which is quite suiting, to be fair, because he looks like he belongs in the cast of Trainspotting. In this photo right here, he looks like the bloody werewolf from Harry Potter. Roto Shaw. So it's a pretty well-known fact that, you know, Harry is into, you know, the powder. And no, I don't mean baking cakes. But if I spent the majority of my life screaming like a little girl over FIFA pack openings, I'd also want to take as many drugs as possible. Morgs. Imagine being Morgs. That, 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 that's it. Morgs mum. Imagine being the mother of Morgs. Bold Martin. Imagine being the stepdad of Morgs. I'm kidding, I actually like Bold Martin, he's pretty cool. Cole Carrigan. Do you know like in Nazi zombies when you pack a punch something? I reckon if you put him in the pack a punch machine, James Charles would come out. Phil Baker. I don't know what's got more chance of survival, his channel or his hairline. Quite. Ugly. Face rug. Shave the moustache. Lily Pons. She's about as funny as a pedo whose job is a babysitter. Danielle Cohn. I mean, I don't really fancy making fun of a 13 year old girl. That's not going to end well. Jordan Houston. I mean, the boys made around 40 videos on Ruby Rube. I haven't seen a man that obsessed with a child since Jimmy Savile. Talia Mar. Many mentors girlfriend. <laughs> what an honour. To be fair, eh, she makes good music. Her children. Deaf. 
children. Chris Ingham, creepy. Also, look at his trim. You could scan that a bloody self checkout at Tesco's. Nico Amalana, he looks like a frub. Pyrocynical, Niall looks like the godchild of Megan Rapino and Ellen DeGeneres. Greg Paul, nonce. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, he, he's like the bitch's bitch. Logan is alright, but Jake, Jake's just a prick. I mean, the boy wore a bloody fedora to the press conference. Who wears fedoras? I'll tell you. Sex offenders. My lady. Logan Paul, hopefully after the fight, him and KSI can make amends and they can hang out. <laughs> oh, that was awful. I hope he doesn't keep just the moustache for the fight because if anybody's going to take him down, it's not going to be KSI. It's going to be the bloody FBI. Chi with a C. Have you seen her videos? What does the Chi stand for? Chronic disease? There's something not right with that woman. Impulsive podcast. I don't actually mind Logan. It's his co-host. Are just a bit weird. Do you know like how one of your mates always had that creepy dad that would try come on to you and flirt with you? That's how I feel about his, his co-hosts. They're, they're just a bit weird. Zerka HD. Josh from the Sidemen. His videos are good. If you're wanting to go to sleep. My Christ, is he boring. His beard even hides that little personality and emotion that he's got. I wish the next thing the side men do at hide and seek, they just leave him. Or next thing we do a holiday video, take him to the bloody Algarve in Portugal. H3H3. I quite like him, he, he's pretty funny. But you can't tell me he doesn't look like he belongs in a register. And not a skill one. Joe Weller. I quite like him, I, I'm not gonna lie. But ever since I've seen it, I just can't get it out of my head that he looks like Matty Beaver Raps. <laughs> It's not even a roast, it's, it's just true. Joey Salads, isn't that the guy that pissed in his mouth for a video? Something like that, I, I don't know, I can't be arsed. Fussy Tube, I mean, did anyone else see him fight the other week? I've seen euthanised dogs put up more of a fight. Rice Gum, I mean, he's a bit like a snapback. He was alright three or four years ago, now he's just a massive wet wipe. And has anyone ever seen him play football? I've genuinely seen blind toddlers kick a football better than that. Faze Banks. He's been in trouble lately for apparently causing 30 grand's worth of damage to a Vegas hotel room. And that's just a perfect explanation why he shouldn't give a goth monster drinking teen named Kyle a million dollars in some fame. Faze Clan. When I was a kid it used to be my dream to join Faze. Now I'd rather spend the night with Bill Cosby. R for TV. I quite like him. He's very do well. He's probably the only YouTuber that I know that will upload like a, a 30 minute video but you only speak for about 20 seconds of it. And to be honest, so would I if I was that fucking boring. David Dobrik. I mean, what am I supposed to say about David Dobrik? I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> him here, but I, I just, what, what am I supposed to say? Jason Nash. He's funny. I quite like him. But imagine being one of these kids and your dad is a vlogger. Imagine the kids at school making fun of you because your dad is a vlogger. I would rather be an orphan. But then again, he is friends with David Dobrik. Zane H Hijazi, I, I forgot his second name. I don't know what's fallen further behind. His channel or his hairline. Mr Beast, I mean, he's a cool guy. He's doing a lot for the world. He is literally saving the world right now. Team Trees, Golden 8. But Jimmy, come on. Shave the moustache, fella. If that hair gets any longer, you'll look like an emo Hitler. Jenna Marbles, Jesus Christ, am I in 2012? I'm not being mean, I generally don't even know if she uploads videos anymore. Lewis Bucken. Imagine being that insecure about your own ability in life that you sit down in front of your green screen and make fun of hundreds of creators far more successful and rich than yourself because you're scared that you're going to die alone and never achieve anything. That couldn't be me. Road Trip TV? I don't really know. They, they all sound the same to me, these bands. And they all look the same as well, you know, jet black, brushed back hair. All I know is I always see my timeline that they call their fans like baby and gorgeous, which is quite <laughs> definitely weird. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass on this one. PewDiePie, I love Felix, he's brilliant. But he's the biggest YouTuber on the platform. I don't want to say anything mean, you know, I don't want to burn down any bridges. <laughs> Jeffrey Starr. He looks like General Grievous and he terrifies me. Jeff Wittick. If he wasn't good looking, nobody would care about him. Emma Chamberlain. I've only watched one of her videos and she talked about farting and shitting for 90% of it and I felt weird. But I did see this video she done the other month which was titled Taking My Own Instagram Photos or something like that. Oh, welcome to the real world. Jesus Christ, what a Tory. Dolan Twins. Jawline. Batchy. Specky. Crypt. He looks like one of the seven dwarfs if they had ADHD. TGF, bro. I mean, what am I supposed to say about TGF? He buried his head in a microwave. How am I supposed to roast that? Ha <laughs> ha, you got your head stuck in a microwave. Pass, I don't know. Bates in 87. Egg. Scrubby. He looks like Louise Buckin. Kira Bridget. She used to be Morgz's girlfriend. That's it. That, that, that's, that's a roast. Comedy Shorts Gamer. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Grandy, a 40-year-old man that makes memes for a living. Actually, now that I think of it, I don't know if that's a flex or a roast. Tom Stockdale, nice, talented guy. Shame he couldn't fix them teeth, though. I wouldn't be surprised if his kids have tried to play crazy golf between them teeth. Manny, what the, f- what the fuck does he do? The most effective skill moves in FIFA 20. Oh, Christ, I'll go to sleep well knowing that. He on the earth still does FIFA tutorials in 2019. I'd rather upload footage from MJ's USB stick. Charlie Vlogs, looks like if Ellen DeGeneres tried to grow a beard. Keemstar, stupid gnome that tried to cancel me. I'm kidding, Keem. Give me a, come on, give me a kiss. iDubs, please upload a content cop. I mean, not that iDubs is watching, or neither is this a roast. I, I'm just, please, please upload one, please. Kate Elizabeth, Tori, Shane Dawson. <sighs> You know, you know what you done, Shane. <laughs> Poor cat. Ninja. You can't even roast Ninja, he's an epic Fortnite gamer. <laughs> he's got a shit haircut, to be fair. Face Sensor. I used to like him until he broke up for a supermodel to pursue a career in CODs and then didn't even make the top 10. He broke up with her to pursue Call of Duty. That's like me breaking up with my girlfriend to, I don't know, become an Olympic rower? I don't know. Ryan Franklin. Oh. <laughs> He's been through enough for the past couple of years, I'll, I'll, I'll let him pass on this one. Danny Duncan, he's quite funny, but he looks like the type of person to punch holes in his wall and call his mum the N-word. Dax, he's actually quite a good rapper, but I just I just can't listen to his music due to how much of an absolute wet wipe he is. Plus, he stole a little peep verse after he died, so yeah, prick. Curtis Connor, E-Boy, Dobre Brothers, Waste of Semen, Casey Neistat. I always wanted him to take off them sunglasses, you know, so I could see what his eyes actually look like. That sounds pretty weird, but I just wanted to see. But it's fair to say, it's bloody terrifying. Callum's Connor, he's got a head like a squash testicle. Ollie White, McDonald's, Susan Wojcicki. <laughs> actually, I'll probably get demonetised. Oh, I'm a lightweight and I am stuck in bottle of vodka and I'm out my chicken.